there, my name is Dan Paul, filming with Pro Membership Sweepstakes. We're headed over to Colorado to hunt with all out guiding and outfitting and Pro Membership Sweepstakes hunt winner, Matt Heiser. Matt Heiser's been putting in for the draw for, for a while and he finally drew and he's super excited, super stoked to be hunting a limited entry area. It takes a long time to draw this tag in Colorado. So let's head over to Colorado and see what we can find for Big Bull Elk. Matt Heiser. Matt, you've been putting in for this for how long? Uh, I think I've joined about four and a half years ago. Four and a half years ago. I was, I was, you know, sticking it out for the long haul, but it sure is nice to hear Mike draw your name the first tag. Yeah. I mean, it was, that was, I'm, I'm jacked up right now, ready to go hunt some big bulls. Yeah, so you've yeah. done a lot of DIY yourself. Yeah. Have you ever hunted out of a camp that's n as nice as this? No. This, no. this is this, a pretty nice camp, it, isn't it? It is. I it mean, is. we get here to camp, it's cold outside, and we're yeah. in these nice heated wall tents. We got a nice wood burner yeah. right here. I mean, it's it's 25 outside, but heck, I'm, I'm getting pretty warm in here. I, I think JT, from just the little bit I've seen so far since we got here, uh, this is, uh, it's set up nice. Very nice. And are you gonna hold out for a 350 or better? Yep. Okay. Well, you know, this, this is, is a hunt. trophy hat. This is a trophy you well, it This is. is hunt. So, is. you know, I mean, you might find them, you, you might know, not. It, it's all about listening to the guides, you yeah. know, and what they're seeing. And, um, you know, my take is you can't kill a big one if you shoot a little. Right. Right. So, but I, I will go home with me okay. at the end. Okay. Right? <laughs> it's all about filling the freezer at the end, but uh, no, you can't shoot the big one if you kill the little one first. So. Right, right. We'll, we'll watch it. We'll see what happens. Yep. Play by ear. Yep. Oh, it's open more than the fourth season here in 61, Colorado. We're going on a bull hunt. Uh, we got a spot over here that we're going to walk over, and check the rim, and see if there's any action going on. that tree. He's going frontwards and backwards. He's in the brush. He's pretty... Can you still see him? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of cows bundled up on the right side and a bunch of cows bundled up on the ridge up there to the left. There's a little bull walking down the hill right now. We got a herd. It's moving. Off. It's a big herd that we watched this morning, but they're slowly moving. We can't see if there's any big bulls in there or not. Let's get out ahead of them and see what we can find. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's 
I don't know, maybe eight elk down there. There's more around here somewhere. Well, those elk that we just seen down here, we got close enough to get a good look at them. I think the biggest one maybe is a four by four. Nothing, nothing that Matt wants to put a hole in, so we're gonna keep looking. Go chase. Yeah, nothing he wants to go chase. <laughs> this herd split up though. Some of them went up, some of them went this way. I think there's some more over here. Well, let's keep looking. Hide and go seek. Time to keep seeking. First day was uh, <clears throat> eventful, but um, I mean, we've seen what a hundred head of elk. Yeah, about a hundred. About a hundred head of elk. We just didn't see really anything worth putting a hole in. See one bull that was five by six. He was nice, but this unit holds a lot better. So I think uh, that's going to hold out for something a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we've seen. Oh, big pile of elk up here this morning. We got on them a little while ago. Well, we got on a herd. I don't know if it was the same one or not. There was some small ones in there, a little four point, a couple spikes. But uh, there's plenty of elk here. We just gotta sort through the bunch and find the one we're looking for. Right, Matt? Yep. <laughs> All right, here we are, second morning. It's a little chilly. We're going to go sit out on this point and glass down this big valley and this big uh, desert and see if there's anything out there. Hopefully find the one. Hopefully find the one. Hopefully find the one. The one. What do you think, boss? I think it's trigger time. <laughs> <laughs> across it 460 yards so they're it's a poke but no wind right now they're suitable but there should be two more bulls down lower I'm gonna go to the right side of the bush and see I'm not seeing where those two went I see a spike walking across the top. That's a cow going down through the brush, right? We came off the tongue and uh, took a little bit of nap right in the middle <laughs> of the day. And then uh, Dan walked over the top of the ridge and saw a few elk. So we started moving back up towards the rig. Had some elk right in front of us at about 30 yards. A couple of small little branch antlers and some cows. We kind of split those both sides of the ridge. Came farther up the canyon. Took down off of one drainage. Little bull broken up. Feeding. Got some pretty good sized group off in this canyon here. They kind of dove off just feeding, but nothing, no shooters today. Third day of our elk cat. We're out here on a point, waiting to see. Uh, first day we saw some elk here, we're hoping to get out of look at them when the sun comes up. Black Friday, and we got out to this 
ramp. Where the hell did he just go? And Junior just spotted a bull down below us. Hey, hey, is that one standing on that ridge over there? Where? Straight across. Uh, this one's right down here by this grass patch. I just saw his horns and he was walking. So we popped out on this rim and over here we got a nice six point that just stepped out. We're gonna try to swing around on the rim and get a little closer to him. He's at 700 yards right now. Hopefully get a little closer and get some Black Friday action. <laughs> this bull like way over on the ridge he was down here we made our way around came down a little bit and as we were coming down junior here saw him go down the bottom and it's thick and it's real thick down there so this bull disappeared in the oak brush somewhere and we're just waiting and waiting and waiting blasting blasting hopefully he shows himself again The search continues for the needle in the haystack. <laughs> well, we've seen a good bull come out the bottom. One of the other drainages, it might have been him. We're gonna go around the top of this ridge, peek down into another one. Let's see if we can find him or somebody else. morning <clears throat> once again junior takes us to a spot where we dropped off and uh, when we dropped off we saw a pretty good six point bull at about 460 yards but he was we bumped him so we're just kind of sitting here looking at god's country trying to outsmart them but they're uh, they got the upper hand right now that we spotted earlier, right down off this cliff. We're set up and waiting for him to stand up. Can't tell how nice one is, but we know he's got six on one side. I think the other side might be a five, I don't know. But they're starting to mill around, so let's see what happens here real quick. on this point now for close to three hours watching these bulls and they just get up mill around in the timber in the brush in the oak brush lay back down it's it's 3 30 now we've seen a couple cows come by but we're just waiting for these bulls to stand up and Give us a good looky loo. They're not. I think they're just trying to beat the heat. It's a little warm today. Let's see what happens here. I'm thinking he's just a bull, and why kill him down in a hell hole like that? Six by four. It's got a couple of broken off. And he looks like, what, about a two? I don't know. He's not 300. 280s, 290s. Yeah. If he had that second, I wouldn't put him there in the helmet. If that bull was up there, I'd shoot. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go through that work. Yeah, that's a lot of work. For 
Maybe if he had a second and another six. Honestly. That is low. Okay, I got him. I mean, if you're gonna do that, shoot a little four point. Yeah. Up there. Right. Well, you seen that one again right there? Right. What's right. that? What's that one right there? What's that bull right there? Yeah. Right there. Right there. Sit down. He's, he's straight across. Straight across. Right. Across, up, right on top. Oh. Is it a bull or a cow? It's a bull. I can see the horns shining with my hair. So do you see where I'm looking? Oh. Oh, that's a nice bull. Where are you looking? So we've been sitting there watching these bulls for about three or four hours. And Matt finally decides that it, th none of these are bulls that he wanted to go ahead and harvest. As he's sitting there telling me about this, he notices a bull stands up off to our right. And we last looked, it's a nice bull. Now this bull didn't look like he was sticking around long, so Matt quickly got set up for the shot. Here's what happened. Huh. I don't think he's hit. I don't know how I missed him on the first shot. Because I was on him. I mean like rock solid. Lay down like that, I mean he might be. I'm gonna try to get above. Play by play is that we didn't shoot the one down there because he was broken and so we got up and I looked across the canyon and there was a pretty good bull I could see with my eyeballs took us a bit to find it with the binos but when we did it was definitely one of those that we pulled the trigger at 715 yards did you hit my my first shot, not only did I feel really good, but I thought I heard the whack. I'm a little worried that I would hit high though. Looking at the angle, I probably should have took at least 30 yards out of it. So it may have been up on him a little high. But it was one of those just, it felt really good. Matt was pretty darn confident about his shot, but as we watched this bull, it never gave us any inclination at all that it was hit. It never flinched, it never ran, it never held a leg up, nothing that you would expect at all. We, as a matter of fact, watched this bull happily walk off the hill. Now, Matt, however, felt really confident about the shot. Hey, all right, cool. Guess what? We backed out and came back the next morning, and here's what happened. it was maybe a rock because that bull never flinched never did nothing and uh so we backed out of there it was just way too steep getting way too late we didn't know if it was a hit or a good hit or what so when in doubt back out we backed out come back here 
this morning and our faithful, our awesome young guy here, uh, you know, first thing, spotted that bull laying down there in the oak brush. And he's a dandy bull. What do you think, buddy? I'm stoked. I'm so happy that it's a good kill shot. Hey, I told you the other day, awesome. Black Friday was going to be your day, didn't I? You did. You did. I had a feeling. And you know what? That is actually the nicest bull we've seen here yet. It is. This bull, by far, was the biggest we've seen. So uh, let's yep. ease our way down there and get our hands on. What do you say? I think it's great. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! We got it! Awesome! Flipping awesome! So last night we were up on this ridge. We threw some lead at this bull. We weren't sure how how we got hit or if he got hit good. Again, he didn't give us any indication at all or any any idea that he was hit. So went in doubt, back out, that's what we did. And we got up here on the point this morning and our guide. He found him first thing this morning with the spotting scope, and uh, he's a little broke up. We never saw any of this. Um, all we saw was that one side and his royals, and he's got a real nice whale tail here. Uh, really nice bull. You know, JT said that uh, they had a pretty uh, good drought here, so the quality of the animals was, uh, I mean, it was there, but it wasn't, you know, as what it could be, and that's what you, that's what happens with nature sometimes. But I'll tell you what, we worked hard, and we found the bull that uh, Matt was happy with. Yep. Matt, are you happy with this bull? Yep, and oh. it's gonna eat great. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And uh, you know, you've been putting in with uh, Sportsman Sweepstakes for how long? Four and a half years. Four and a half years, and you were lucky enough to draw this hunt. Yep. Was in it worth June. it? Was it worth? Oh, Putting absolutely. Your, your, your entry free every year? Absolutely. I noticed you're wearing a pack that you've won. I am. You, you're wearing well, a pack that you won from? I, I, that's the backpack that I won. And I got the knife in my pocket that I won. So, yep. Thank you guys very much. This has been just a great, great hunt. You know, all out outfitters, they got some quality animals. You know, it was a little tough. Um, finding the bigger ones but every day our guide dropped us right in and at first light every morning we saw a bull Perry at least one you know and so we had to had to thumb through a few but this one stepped out last night and you know we put the hammer down I'm just happy it was a good clean kill shot he came about 200 yards don't know exactly where I've hit him, but uh, I threw a bunch of lead at him. Well, so. we'll figure it out when we butcher him. You, yep. got, you got that knife that you won, so uh, yep. congratulations. Thanks very much. And let's, uh, let's put that knife.